guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thanks for coming. Well, I'm not going to be about fish this time, but the old fell ain't here in the background. Um, picking up a few pieces for it, and I decided I wanted to get a dash mat, Repco, Super Tube, Autobahn. Nah, no luck because 43 years old, whatever. And um, yeah, they didn't even know where to direct me. So anyway, got it on the internet, inter internet, internet, at night probably, yeah, there you go, um, and found Moto Quip in uh, South Australia, Woodville I believe, I'm not exactly sure on that, but look it up if you want, and um, yeah, they do dash mats, carpets, customised mats, whatever, popular brands, some in stock, but because it's old, they obviously have the templates stashed away somewhere or something, but um, got some notes here for the dates because I can't remember. But ordered on the 9th of August, today's the 28th of September. Um, it arrived on the 13th of September, so I've been a bit slack almost two weeks, whatever. Haven't done it, but I'm gonna do it today. So, cost me. With shipping, cost me 75 bucks. It's okay. It's okay. 15 bucks for shipping, insurance, whatever. So, I've got it here. I'm going to open it up when I finish with coffee and smoke. So, let's open it up and see. It looks like it's been folded. So, anyway, maybe I'll have to unfold it and put it. But let's just open it up now. See what it's, the quality's like. And um, main thing, see if it fits. I'm sure it will. They're very professional people. Okay. Uh, okay. Here we go. Exciting. Exciting for me. There's no cracks or anything in the dash, but I thought, you know, got it going and picked up a few other things. Okay, I was thinking they're gonna make it, but it looks good. All the holes for the vents. It says Sunland molded dash mat. I don't know if that's well, it's made in Australia. I don't know if that's for them. But Z cut. Uh, there's LCD, FC, FC, FD. ZJ, ZK Fairlane, so there we go, F3A on the back, whatever that means, we've got instructions here, free warranty, UV stabilised, non-fade, easy care, colour fast, stain reduced, okay, UV resistant, there we go, pretty happy with that, so Nearly finished. I will uh, cut cut it here and um, put it on the dash. Make sure it fits. I'm sure it will. Okay. okay. I was wondering about adhesion, but we've got underneath the cardboard when I took it off. We've got six pieces, twenty-five by twenty-five uh, adhesive loops, and six pieces, fifty by twenty-five adhesive adhesive hook so okay I suppose we put doesn't really explain where to put them on the thing but anyway we've got six probably one two three four five six something like that I don't know anyway work it out won't be that important. I'll probably have to clean the dash first. Anyway. Okay. Just a couple of staples where the cardboard was connected. Take those out. And I had this tie going through the carpet. When I took it out, there's a little hole. I was a bit worried about that, but when I, um, 
went over it and just pushed it. You, you just, yeah, the carpet goes back and the bit on the back covers up the hole, so ain't going to be an issue. That's good. Anyway, okay, a bit more junk on the ground. Okay, a little bit of fluff and there was, you know, a few carpet bits here, but they've all pulled off and um, looks pretty good. You could always give it a vacuum if you wanted, but um, it's okay. I went charcoal grey because black one was the same, but it's I think they were all on sale. Or a little bit off, 15% or something. But anyway, alright, let's get it in and see what it looks like. Alright, it fits pretty perfect. So, I also think I'm going to have to put one up here to stop this sliding down. Maybe one here. I don't know, I'll work it out. And on this side, whoa, lean over. It fits really good there. So, the colour, well, yeah, you're going to have to use the adhesives. But this section, it's really good. The colour is okay. Pretty happy with that. I'm actually, well, it didn't have in light grey. I suppose if you asked, they could probably make one, but. Um, that's okay. So I'm going to have to clean it and then uh, get the, uh, but all the vent holes, okay, quick look at the dash, no cracks or anything, a bit dusty, but because it's especially been sitting so long, I haven't, this, you know, I used to use armor oil, but it's probably been used before armor oil or whatever, so you wouldn't want to, you want to be careful with armor, uh, you know, armor oil or silicon paste cleaners or whatever so I'm just going to use a bit of Windex and a rag or well, it's not actually Windex it's the same you know cheap one but um because mostly ammonia could use methylated spirits but that should be all right I'll just give it a clean down and I'm I'm thinking I'm going to put maybe three or four on initially and um just see if that's sufficient because down the track who knows you if you don't like it you might have to take it off all right okay now i've found the instructions at the back of the cardboard um yeah pretty basic and on the things here it does have which part you adhere to dashboard and which part you adhere here to the mat so that's pretty good and just intermediate wherever you want start on one side work your way across no worries. And watching the other one back when they did say six to seven weeks delivery for ones that weren't in stock or they had to make or whatever. So their time frames are actually better than they said. Thank you. Okay. Finished cleaning it. Looks good enough. Mainly bottom of the oh. camera picks up more dust than my eyes. But I'm going to start on this side, put one up here, I think, hold that in, and then just work my way across. Okay, got me glasses. Be careful when you're taking the thing off that you don't take the, the paper off, don't take the backing off. Anyway, got it. I reckon I'm going to put it there, I reckon, so that you got the little... I don't know if you can see, but so it's not over the tab if I ever have to take the dash out for some reason. We just put it there and then I'll line up the other one and put it on that piece and work my way across. Okay guys, I've decided that the Windex ain't good enough to clean it. Got, don't have methylated spirits. I've got cloudy ammonia, so I'm using that. So... Clean rag <coughs> and I will clean this thoroughly because you know, she's been sitting for a long time. 
The last one I tried wouldn't adhere to my liking. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's probably a bit better clean, isn't it? All right. We'll um, just give it a good clean. Okay. Oh, that's got a lot more shit off. All right, I'll give it 10 minutes to dry and see if it's more successful this way. Bye. Okay, guys, new approach. I decided to clean the whole dash ammonia twice. Just letting it dry now. And this is how much shit the ammonia got off. So, yep, should be much better. All right. Okay, hope you can see, take the backing off. Let's hope it's cleaned enough. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got it there, look. Can't even move it. Success. Okay, now I'll line the thing up. Put the mat on, line it up, and put the backing one on the mat, and move me way across. This is very awkward by myself, but I'll just show you one. What I've done, you got the 25 by 50 there, 25 by 25 there. Just lined it up. So, I'm gonna get this one when it goes back up there in the rough position that I like, and then just press down and that's not that's good I'm going to put one in the center uh, here and then one on the other side then I may put one here and put one on this side but we'll just see how we go okay guys I've finished I don't coming off i ended up putting three of the things on there so sticking up a little bit there but that's okay i'm happy with that main thing i would say is uh make sure your dash is cleaned properly i had no idea because i used to clean this monthly with armor all but hasn't been done five or six years and um amazing how long the armor all hangs around for the ammonia worked a treat got it most of the vents are lined up really good, so I'm pretty happy with that. And um, it will stop, you know, if you have your dash really armoured and then sunshine, you get a lot of reflection. But this will help. But anyway, I've got it in, so reasonably happy. Thanks to Motorquip South Australia for supplying it, being true to their word. And um, another little thing done. So thank you. If you enjoy my content, consider subscribing. We greatly appreciate it. Leave a comment. I'm no great uh, mechanical man or anything, but I give things a go. And so that will suffice for the time being. So thank you. Bye.